Hi, I'm Lily, and I'm going to be doing British Vogue in the wardrobe today. First up, I have this sweatshirt, which at this point I consider vintage, but I got it in my high school. I went to Harvard Westlake in Los Angeles, and this is my peer support sweatshirt, which I have to say changed my life. It says on the front, all the cool kids are doing it. Um, Peer Sport was a club in my high school, which pretty much all the students ended up being a part of. It was a teen therapy group where we all got to join together on Mondays and discuss our insecurities, our issues, things that we were going through. Um, and it really was an incredible way to feel connected to other students. And I trained to be a teen therapist. And I truly believe that that experience in peer support helped shape my motives now as an adult in creating communication um, among young people and expressing how we all go through the same emotions and we're never alone, which ultimately also inspired my book. So this sweatshirt is, uh, is very near and dear to my heart. It even has a little trainee on it before I became a teen therapist. And uh, yeah, sometimes I just like to cuddle, cuddle with it or wear it when I'm needing a little bit of that extra comfort and nostalgia. Next up, we have this classic pair of Levi jeans. Um, I love these Levi's, I love the way they fit, but why they're most special is that I actually wore them to the last Chanel fashion show I ever went to that Carl Lagerfeld was at. It was the Autumn Winter Collection in 2017, Haute Couture. Um, and I love them because I love the idea of mixing jeans with an incredible detailed shirt that I wore, um, a little cropped off jacket that he made. And I, I always loved the combination of, um, of incredibly chic yet down to earth and wearable uh, that Carl, Carl loved. So, um, so I love keeping these in my closet. Next, I got this fabulous suede vintage jacket um, last year, actually, when I was filming Emily in Paris in Paris. It was a steal, I'm telling you. It was honestly, it was very inexpensive and I bought it the second I could. It was in the, uh, in the window and I was kind of eyeballing it for weeks. And finally, uh, on a weekend, I went in and bought it. And I loved the fact that it had this little emblem on the inside that says, save the forest which felt very appropriate actually because I've been wearing it a lot on road trips that, uh, that my fiance and I and our little dog have been going on. So this is super, super cozy and I really love, I love the overall aesthetic in the woods. I have this, at this point, I also like to consider these vintage, but I have this pair of shoes from Chanel that are very, very special to me because When I was 18 years old, I attended the Creon Debutant Ball in Paris, and that was my first experience being introduced to the Chanel house. And I wore um, a vintage dress from an older collection, but they handmade shoes to fit with the dress. And I still have the little shoes. I even, on this, on this right foot, have part of my dress attached to the shoe on the back because as I was running around the halls of the Creon Hotel, my dress got caught in the elevator and my shoe ripped it out as I ran through. Um, and I kind of loved the fact that it was still attached to there so I never took it off. As you can tell, I also really like to keep my things as is in the original box. And last but not least, this headpiece, um, which was made by Lillette, uh, was what I wore, the piece de resistance, I guess you could say, for my Met Gala look, which was the heavenly body scene in 2018 when I wore Haute Couture Givenchy. And it's one of my favorite Met Ball looks uh, I ever had the pleasure of doing. And I just loved the accent of this accessory so much on top of the entire look added with the little teardrop um, and I and I really I love collaborating with my hair and makeup team and stylists 
during the Met Ball and um, the fact that I got to keep this was really, really special. So I don't always get to wear it because, you know, that would be a little bit much, but I do love to look at it occasionally. Okay guys, I hope that you enjoyed my wardrobe tour, but you have to go. I have a date with my spiritual guidance counselor to help discuss how these clothes are dealing with all the separation anxiety. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, but seriously, it has been a pleasure to have you here, and I hope to see you guys soon. Please stay safe and love you all. Okay, now that we've got that out of the way, these are the four pairs of sweatpants that I've been rotating since quarantine started. Ha <laughs> ha.